So it's been an up and down season for your Denver Nuggets at this point. Sometimes we look great. Sometimes we're dunking on the Trailblazers with 20 seconds left in the game to take a one point lead. But then other times we go to Dallas and Gallinari misses a wide open jumper and then we foul them and then we just kind of take ourselves out of the game. So my question is, do we need to make some internal changes here? Well, we already made one with Will Barton dropping him from the rotation because KJ McDaniels and Gary Harris were giving us what we wanted at the shooting guard spot. So maybe we need to make some more changes. Now first thing we need to say is Emmanuel Moutier has been fantastic, okay? What he was doing last season for us, he's only expanded on it. I mean, if you're defending Moutier and he's driving to the rim, just, I mean, you can try, but I wouldn't encourage it because you're either going to get knocked over, dunked on, or you're going to foul him, okay? And he's kind of like a baby LeBron James in a way. And really, our pick and rolls with Moutier has been most effective. You saw him dunk on Hibbert, well now you're going to see Nigel Hayes dunk on Brandon Bass. And really, our offense is at its best when Moutier is running the show, okay? Whether it's Nigel Hayes dunking, whether it's Nurkic and his mid-range jumper, which has been really effective for us. I mean, look at this one here. This is nearly a three-pointer, and Nurkic is dropping that. So that's all fantastic. And remember last season, our little half-court set with Farid and Nurkic's two-man game off of a pick-and-roll? That's still working for us as well. So, Moutier is the guy, okay? And when he's got the ball, it's fantastic. Whether it be in the half-court setting, with isolations, or getting up and, getting up and down the full court as well. However, everything else has been kind of okay. Um, Shooting-wise, Gary Harris, he was hot as hell to start the season. He's cooled off a little bit. And uh, Justin Anderson, I mean, he's going to be up and down throughout on his shooting to the point where I can kind of expect him to be inconsistent, consistently inconsistent, if you will. Shout out to Ananias. And our new star player, Kenneth Fareed, his shot has kind of gone away as well. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done with him, even if he had a nice little hot streak. And our outside shooting overall has been bad. Pierre Jackson, Nigel Hayes has not hit a single jumper all year for us. KJ McDaniels, Gary Harris once again. And then also, because nobody is impervious to criticism, Moutier as well. I mean, I worked with him on his three-point shot in the offseason. It has not translated onto the floor just yet. And really, the only consistent shooter we've had all season is Gallinari, who is actually a little ridiculous. He's making up for the fact that nobody else can hit a jump shot right now because some of the shots he's hitting are crazy. But you see this play right here? I think I want to do away with these plays for most of our guys besides Gallo. These long, drawn-out plays, guys running around screens, because if it doesn't work, then we're just like we're just kind of trying to make something happen with like five seconds left. I want less of that and more of just attacking, okay, with Moutier. Because, as I already said, good things happen when Moutier is going to the basket. So we really got to just stick to that because, uh, I mean, Gallinari, he'll be fine with pick and rolls. No matter what I run for Gallinari, he's going to score. And look at this here. This is more so my vision, right? Moutier drives inside, Gary Harris's guy leaves him, and he actually managed to hit that jump shot. However, we suck at defense, okay? We're leaving Kobe Bryant completely wide open. More times than not. I mean, Mo Williams is open here. He misses the shot, but he was still open. We're having a tough time, especially in the pick and roll. Okay, you're going to see here, where the hell is Markeith Morris's defender? I mean, our wings, to be honest with you, they're really dropping the ball for us. When I mean, we were struggling in the pick and roll here, the rim protection has been kind of eh. We need some work to do on defense as well. And I, I mean, to be honest... I don't know what sort of drastic changes we can make to improve defensively. I think it's just a matter of being better, and that's me included. I mean, I'm controlling everybody, so of course I could be better defensively. Maybe I'll take control of the center a bit more often? I don't know. But um, this sequence of events here pretty much sums up how this portion of the season is going for us, as you'll see the end of this Phoenix Suns game. The Suns will, uh, you know, Bledsoe will drive down, he'll score, and then 
I give the ball to Emmanuel Moutier, and I'm like, all right, let me just get those points right back, and I'm not going to pass the ball to anybody else because I don't really trust y'all right now, to be honest. I didn't have Gallinari on the floor because, I don't know, my bad. Moutier, once again, like he's keeping us in these games right now, but then unfortunately, we have a nice little defensive lapse right here. And that was the game against the Phoenix Suns. As for the Laker game, we were just blown out. We got beat down by the Lakers. So I do believe we need to make some game plan adjustments. Have more direct pick and rolls. Have our wings just spread out and just let Moutier attack. We gotta stop all this slow running around screens BS. Unless we can't hit any jumpers, then a trade might be in the works. 